We have heard from a number of parents who have been waiting for the opportunity to send their child to hybrid in-person instruction. On Monday in the Beaverton School District, pre-K through second grade students headed back to the classroom. And on Thursday, the plan is for the rest of the district's elementary age kids to go back. And two weeks later, starting April 22nd, it'll be time for high school students. And for some parents, that day can't come soon enough. My name is Wendy Gibson, and I have a senior whose name is Emma, and my son Ben, who is a freshman at Sunset High School. Gibson says this year has been a tough one for the entire family. They definitely have experienced the isolation and the loneliness, and we've had a lot of tears around the house, all of us, even my husband, which just, it's been a struggle. It's, it's really been a lot this year. That's why she's excited about any time her kids can spend learning in person. Still, obviously we were hoping for more. By the time school gets out for summer, Beaverton High School students in hybrid will have had 17 days of in-person learning this school year. Seniors, 15 days. We are definitely excited to have anything. It does feel like crumbs. Brandy Walks has two daughters in high school, sophomore Mia and senior Ruby. She says with the updated federal and state recommendations reducing distancing between students from six feet to three feet, she wants four days a week of in-person learning instead of two and is hoping the district reconsiders. It really would maximize the amount of engagement and education that these students are getting. But like Portland Public Schools, the Beaverton School District has already said there won't be any changes to distancing this late in the process. Beaverton Schools says some of the reasons they've spent months preparing for and informing families about a return to school and don't want to spring big changes on anyone. Changing distancing requirements would mean a complete overhaul of schedules, and an agreement was already reached with the teachers' union. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.